Well, I'm very humbled and honored to be here today. You know, as I look around, I see a lot of familiar faces. Um, you know, it's something that it really is coming full circle. You know, uh, having a contest here. Um, you know, not coming back as the winner. Uh, it's it's just an incredible experience, I have to say. Um, I want to start by thanking everybody, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, for all the work that you guys have done. Um, without you, this program wouldn't be here, it wouldn't be such a success. Uh, the Ohio Division of Wildlife, I have, I can't even begin to tell you how many fond memories I have because of the people that are working for that, uh, for that division. Um, I've been treated and welcomed into this world of wildlife and wildlife art by so many of these different people that it's, uh, again, it's something that is just humbling, you know, to be treated that open arm in that, that open arm way. Um, also, Ducks Unlimited, uh, you know, I mean, what a tremendous organization. You know, I think of the habitat that has been preserved over the years uh, with, with their help and with all of these other groups working together. Uh, you know, that's, a really, that's the, thing, the thing that makes me the most impressed, is when you have all these different groups with people that share the same passion and the same concerns working together, um, such an incredible, amazing things can happen with that. And, you know, it's something that, you know, obviously we all want to try to make our own path in the world, but when we work together with people that have the same passions, it's just, it's like an unstoppable force. Um, I, I was going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the common questions that I get from people. Uh, you know, people ask me, well, you know, why did you start painting ducks, right? I paint a lot of ducks. Um, <laughs> you know, it all started years back. I saw a painting by Bruce Miller. He had won the Federal Duck Stamp Contest that year, and he had a painting on the, on the front of an NRA publication. And that, seeing 